Finally today, you know the notion that lightning never strikes twice in the same spot? Well, don't tell that to the people who live near Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. In a year, we have more than 100,000 uh, lightning flashes there. Yep, 100,000. That's Rachel Albrecht. She's one of the scientists who's been collecting data on lightning strikes around Lake Maracaibo. Albrecht explains Maracaibo is the lightning capital of the world. Lake Maracaibo is a very large lake surrounded by mountains right in the end of the Andes Mountains in South America. These very warm waters makes what we call a convergence breezes. These breezes are like from the mountain towards the lake. This convergence of wind makes like 300 days with thunderstorms, very large thunderstorms over that same spot, that very large lake. So it's so often that the state of Zulia in Venezuela, where this lake is, it has a lightning boat on its flag. Wow. They just get used it. Right. And get used to it. Uh, well, yeah. it sounds like all you need is a lot of wind converging over a body of warm water and you've got lightning. I'm not even sure in my own head how lightning happens. Oh, lightning happens uh, when we have clouds with very intense updrafts inside the cloud, like vertical winds. And we have on this, inside these thunderstorms, ice formation, like small ice particles. These ice particles, they collide with each other. And during each collision, they separate electrical charges. And this happens like millions of times inside the clouds and start building up pockets of charges inside the cloud. That's when lightning forms. How do you actually collect data about lightning strikes? On this study, uh, we used the lightning imaging sensor on board of the TRIM satellite. TRIM stands for Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission. It is a NASA's mission. It is an optical sensor. So we see optical emissions from light on the top of the clouds. We measure like a frame of data, like it would be an image every two milliseconds. In your research, how close have you ever come to seeing a lightning strike? Oh, it was in the Amazon in a field experiment. It was raining a lot. We were in two cars. I was on the car behind and a lightning stroke uh, the car in front of us, right in front of us. That car kind of uh, lit up in a bluish light when the lightning stroke. And we were like so amazed. And on Everybody the, was okay? They didn't notice actually that they were hit by a lightning. <laughs> Just us that saw it from behind. Wow. It was very scary. Rachel Albrecht, an atmospheric scientist in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Thank you for telling us about all this lightning in Lake Maracaibo. Okay, thank you. And like lightning at Lake Maracaibo, the world strikes again tomorrow, right where you are, but we're done for today. From the Nana Bill Harris Studios at WGBH here in Boston, I'm Marco Werman. Have yourselves a good one. PRI, Public Radio International.